Colby Novak. And I'm Jess Morales. Come with us halfway across the world in beautiful Iceland as we set out to take the ultimate bridal portrait. In this episode, we buy a wedding dress, figure out how to get all of our gear 4,000 miles across the world, and our first day in Iceland was a complete disaster. Alrighty, so um, at the David's bridal. It's a little strange because um, I usually don't do this as a photographer. Usually a photographer doesn't buy dresses. But um, today we had to buy a dress for our model to um, wear in Iceland. So this will be a... Uh, this will be different. It's like kind of a wedding dress. Kind of, but we're going to modify it. So we're going to marry Iceland. And then we're going to sell it for yeah. more than we bought it for. There you go. We're going to say it's a $10,000 dress, but it was actually... I'm not telling you because that would be evidence. So Macy, how do you, how do you feel? Uh, like I want to go home. <laughs> you want to go home? Usually this usually this itchy. process I'm kind of itchy. Usually this process takes like months, and we got it done in what like it, it like 30, oh look hey, it's four twenty. Oh, but uh, usually this 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 thing process takes like months, and we got it done like what like like what twenty minutes? Twenty thirty minutes. Twenty yeah. minutes. Just about efficient. Efficient. For efficient. No, and messing it's around. We came working. in here for one thing. We're only a wedding work. dress. Look good. Hey, we you found one, and now we're moving on. Moving on. And right chop, 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 so, chop. Uh, it is Wednesday afternoon, and we are attempting attempting to uh, pack a whole studio's worth of junk inside one think tank case to get it past airport security, and then get it into Iceland here on Saturday. So this is what we're trying to get into Iceland. We've got our Sony FS5 in there. We've got a Sony A7S and underneath that we've got an A7R2. We've got three speed lights, a couple pocket wizards, a uh, micro USB cable. We've got 85, we've got a 14 millimeter underneath there. We've got an uh, 85 macro, which actually I don't think, ah, screw it, we'll probably just take it just in case. We've got to charge all our double A's, get them in a case, because um, TSA, won't actually allow you anymore to just have random batteries in your case. You have to have them in some type of plastic container. Got to get the X5 prep ready to go. We've got to get that on the Inspire, the Inspire case. This will also, the Osmo for the X5 will also go in the Inspire case. I'm faced with the challenge to pack all of this assortment of coats and pants and all of this nonsense into this tiny little bag. So before I actually dive in and go ahead and throw all this stuff in the suitcase, I'm gonna go ahead and go through, let y'all know what I'm packing. I got this Columbia coat right here. It's pretty thick. It's actually two layers. It's one coat inside of another. Whenever I found this at the store, I thought it was dope as f So I went ahead and got it. Got these snow pants down here under these jeans. These are pretty thick as well, but I got some jeans and some long johns over here, just in case it gets too cold. I got these car, this Carhartt beanie right here, pretty thick. I've had it uh, since I lived up in Washington and whatnot. And then I also got this scarf thingy as well. I went ahead and picked up that at the store with the coat. Got this thermal right here, thermal, thermal underlayer along with the long johns, kind of keep me warm. Got these gloves going on right here. Got this goggle set right here. Got a no fog cloth just in case it gets a little foggy under there. Um, also got some shirts over here, crew neck, couple long sleeves, got a three quarter sleeve, and I got a couple short sleeves just in case, maybe to sleep in, something like that. And I might throw ahead, go ahead and throw some basketball shorts in here maybe, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and fit all this in this goddamn suitcase. So it's um, Friday morning, and I get a call around 4.30 in the morning, and uh, Macy told me she forgot the dress. So now I have to bring it along with all my other cases. Here it is. We are here, just about. So is it just me, or does all like airport bathrooms smell like those bottle cap candies? About what? You know those bottle cap candies, like the Wonka candies? Bro, they I come in like a little candy. roll, bro. 
It smells like powdery candy, like the the airport bathrooms. Don't they smell like the little bottle caps? You know what? I've never thought about it that way, but I can totally see where you're coming from. Dude, they do. Like, I it swear smells to God. Like, like Pepto. Pepto. Not pe like it smells like powdery candy to me. And while Jacob, Macy, and Jess talk about how awesome Boston's airports smell, I'm traveling halfway across the world by myself. And little did I know that Delta had a really crazy surprise for me when I landed in Reykjavik. Alrighty, we're off to Iceland. We're here to take some awesome photos and be awesome people. Let's go. Delta managed to lose almost $50,000 worth of drone and camera equipment in the Atlanta airport. But it looked like Jacob, Jess, and Macy were having a great time with their six hour layover in Boston. We're over here at um, the Boston airport. We're just waiting on our flight. We're kind of like six hours early and stuff. So um, we're just gonna chill here and um, most likely do some work editing and drink some coffee, all this other stuff happening. And then I think um, Jake is probably gonna go like, I don't know, harass people. I don't really know gonna go scrounge all right so we forgot um, to open this and try this on the plane it looks really delicious not really sure what it is Jacob thinks his was stolen from the lady next to him while he was like sleeping it's kind of funny so we're about to do the unpacking of this Macy it's all up to you Let's see what this baby looks like a golden ticket it's a golden, it's a golden ticket. It's a golden ticket, Mike. <sighs> okay, listen. Yeah. Is it crunchy? Yeah, it's crunchy. Look at that little waffle goodness of like everything in there. Mm. Mm. There's caramel goodness. Look at that caramel. All right, so we are on the plane right now to go to Iceland, and my phone has been turned off. So I'm making the update for now. And Macy is in the back, Jacob's in the front, and Colby is on the flight to New York right now. So um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys in Iceland, and I will be recording when we arrive at 4 o'clock in the morning. And finally, after a full day of flying, we finally meet up at the International Airport in Iceland. Listen to Colby, has something we to came, tell I, you. We came here to, to do one epic drone shot. We, I, I fly, that's what I do for a living, I fly drones. And what does Delta lose? My drone. It's out on the way to Delta, yeah. Expensive ass drone. It's our awesome new friend up there. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Say hello. Yeah. And with it being extremely early in the morning and all of us suffering from intense jet lag, we failed to realize that the car rental place was actually at the airport. So we spent almost $200 getting to downtown Reykjavik to get our rental car, which was actually at the airport. So we are, um, we're grocery shopping. We are grocery shopping right now. And as we finish our grocery shopping, we soon realize how un-American these people actually are. And then we fail to realize how cold it actually is outside. So us Texas country folk, we're getting our ass whooped. <laughs> We are definitely getting our ass <laughs> I'm trying to whooped. zip this up right now and I can't. I have like five layers on under here, so I probably look like a panda. I don't even know what that's like. She's got at. broads in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? P -p -p panda. I'm cold. I don't know about y'all. My tits, my d has shrunk four inches. Four inches. It's, it, it's inside of me. My, my d is inside of me right now. First day, how'd it go? Today, the very first day here. Shit. <laughs> Complete shit. On the next episode, we finally get our drone back. We realize how unforgiving Icelandic weather can be, and we finally get a really beautiful snow day.